Welcome back. This is Kyle with SoftwareMedia.com. Today I'm going to be showing you page layout in Microsoft Office Word 2010. Now, sometimes when you're working in a text document, the, the regular 8.5 by 11 portrait orientation with half-inch columns is not going to be uh, adequate for what you're trying to do. So you're going to have to edit your page layout. In order to do that, go up to your page layout tab in the ribbon and say you want to change the orientation. You're going to go here to page setup, orientation, choose your portrait or your landscape. Say you want to change the size of your document. You can click up here on sizes and there are a bunch of different presets that you can choose from. Envelope 16 by 9 which is a, a cinematic aspect ratio. You can uh, go to more paper sizes and you can affect your margins in here. You can affect your layout and you can specify the width and height of your document. Now, If you want to format the margins which is the space between the edge of the paper and where your text will be. You go up here to margins and you can choose from a bunch of different presets or you can even specify custom margins which will come back to the page setup dialog window. Next you can specify the number of columns that you're going to use. Say if you're doing for print like a, uh, a newspaper or something like that. You'll set two columns now, in addition to your your margins, orientation, size, and all that, there are a lot of different things that you can do in the page layout tab. Uh, for example, adding a watermark. Say you have a you want it to be confidential. That's just a, a preset, but you can go in here. You can add a custom watermark. Um, you can add a picture, and you can scale it however large you would like it. You can have it washed out, which would make it semi-transparent. Or you can have a text watermark, which where you can specify the text, the font, the size, the color, whether it's diagonal or horizontal. Next, you can add a page color of any kind. I kind of like Manila. makes it look sort of spy-ish. Very film noir. You can choose various borders for your pages. You can specify your indenting, uh, your spacing between paragraphs, and your alignment. And there are a lot of other features here on the page layout tab that feel you can feel free to play around with, such as line breaks, page breaks, section breaks, uh, various themes that you can specify in order to really format your document and make it look, it good, look as good as you possibly can. Thanks again for joining us here at SoftwareMedia.com. Uh, stay tuned for plenty more tutorials with Microsoft Office. We'll see you next time.